broadcast live. What's up, South Africa? I'm hanging out in Katatura, Namibia. I'm hanging out with Jesus the God. Oh, you got it right, Mama! Hey, it's within now, I got it. He's within I the vibe. Look, yeah. we're at the big car wash right now. This place is literally like the Soweto of Windhoek. It's hella popping. Yeah. People, people are doing the most. Shit, I got a million dollars! Hey! Auntie and Pulina Shasha on the niggas. We're here for the Sneakers and Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. How, when, you, when did you get here? I got you. What's the date today? Today's uh, the first. It's the first. Yeah, I think two days ago. Yeah, I came on Thursday for the beef auction. Um, it was happening, not sure because I don't know the place as well. But yeah, it was really popping, the vibe was great. Yeah. I was surprised to see a whole lot of people recognize me and yeah. even know that I need to drop Fuego. Oh. Even this side people know I'm late. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I really need to get it stepping. Yeah, but well. that's dope, man. I mean, last night we went out, we went to uh, Chopsy's bar. Oh yeah? And we had like conversations with people that know so much about the South African music industry, like it's crazy. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about that, man? Like, I mean, how do, like, how do you feel about that? You know, one thing like it's really it's really inspiring because you don't expect them to know so much. Like as I said, Veluti people asking me when's Fuego dropping, I was yeah. like, yo, yeah, it's you guys, Vela <laughs> waiting for Fuego. Yeah. And then now Vela and they so cut like they so current with everything that's going on. They're asking about uh, opinions about us, like like what do we think of NSTC, MT, yeah. you know, they're even asking about Young Swiss and you know, they're so current with the sound and they like how diverse well, the sound is. I mean, even this side, like, like from the places that we've went, I've picked up Wuti, the sound here has got like this African Kwaito thing going on, you know? And it kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that we do that side. So it's, it's kind of like we're in, we in tune with one another. But yeah, well, it's just different locations. Yeah. yeah. How are you finding the place? I, I like the place. I like the, the infrastructure. I was driving last night and I was like, this place looks like an, an up, upscale version of Cape Town. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so beautiful. Like it's be even like with the whole mountain shandy. Yeah, and like everything. the dips and then the Yeah. And then I kind of, what, what I like about this place is the people. Like the people are just so warm and friendly. Yeah. Like I haven't even caught like a piece of negative energy from the place. I don't know whether it's Namatori instead of Chablin or Vele, <laughs> but I really get the vibe, which this is just the general energy around this place, you know? It even seems like a dope place where you can live. There was at the garage, they have flipping, what's it called? They've got like Amapia in what? In what? those fridges. Yeah. That's lit, bruh. It's That's lit. lit. They've got bacon <laughs> beggars at KFC. What? There's so much stuff that I've discovered out here. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind living here. It's actually, like a, a that's nice the same vibe. thing I said today. I was like, you know what? I actually would not mind living in Namibia. Yeah. I, like, I like the place. So listen, tonight you're performing at the Sneakers and Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. You said that people in the Beat uh, auction really received you well. Mm -hmm. What what are you bringing? What are you bringing to Namibians? What are you hoping to take out from the hip hop crowd this side? Because you're saying we kind of like in tune. You yeah. know? So what are you bringing? What are you hoping to get out? So first thing I'm bringing is the South African flag. Ah! You know, I, I got a I got a rep in J Saudi yeah, yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm also just bringing a special show like for the people there that were looking so forward to seeing me. Because I won't even lie, for me it was just like okay, Twiz is gonna come perform Vele his songs. But with how I receive the energy from the people here, it just seems more than just okay, Twiz is coming to perform. Yeah, it's not just another performance. So I'm really trying to put my all into the performance to make sure that I leave a spectacular show. I'm finally you better represent. I like, got like, I, I, I got the like flag right even. Now. <laughs> Imagine now I'm wearing the flag and yeah. I'm, I'm just disappointing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm doing like nails. Ish. Listen, while we're still here, then, so what's happening with Fuego? You want us to get to 100k downloads on Ambitions before it comes out? How far? How far? We we want to know because we we heard Fuego. We previewed it on mm. Slick On Live. Keep on, then, at all. You know, the funniest thing is that I've had, like, like I said before, like, you know, for me, it's just beyond the music now. Like, people want the music not knowing Guti Vele, there's, there's a certain uh, infrastructure or yeah, kind of like there's building that, that goes yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a foundation that I need to set up business-wise for me to kind of move forward. And I just feel like the music was ready before, like, all the drama that happened with people stealing my laptop and yada yada. I've even worked on new music and I've covered the score. But now, I just feel like 
everything at this point in my career. Just I need to get my team right because I feel like the music is there. I just need to get my team right so that it goes like through the right platforms and the right channels and you know. But I've gotten to a point where I'm really hungry to to drop the music. So you know, we'll just see. Like I just want to drop the music now. So. And I don't want to say no date anymore. I really want it to be a surprise so that I fuck up the game, Jay. Yeah. Yes, Unexpected. You must stop the, the date thing. Because it's bad it's only for October. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad it's bad it's only for October. Yeah. And, and listen, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the growth. And the fact that, you know, losing most of your work didn't even, like, push you back. Like, you're putting in so much work, man. Your, your name is, is, is growing as a rapper, as a producer. It's a really good example to see that producers can also become anything they want to be in the game. And yeah. you're kind of like... Like a youngest guy who's pushing that and kind of also showing the way for a lot of producers yeah. out there as well. So I'm really proud of that. And we um, are. You were talking about you know fixing your team, getting your business right, all yeah. that stuff. How how are you finding that? How 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 hard has it been? Because you were on a dream team at some point. Yeah. So so what's happening right now? You know the the biggest trick um, about getting your team right is when you do things independently. It's kind of like a trial and error. You know so. There's, there's always a pro and a con to every single benefit or whatever you want to call it. So with me having a smaller Nyana team, going to like a dream team, which I benefited so greatly from, to going back to doing things independently, but now I know what exactly I need. Yeah. You know, once you, you, you try certain things and they don't work out, I mean, they don't work out. That's why you, you kind of like seek more growth or whatever the case is. And when you seek that, the beautiful thing about that is that you know what you want at this point. So the fact that you're doing it independently, the, the, the biggest con about that is that uh, you take the time to go through the bullshit just so that you can know, okay, that's not what I want. But the beautiful thing from that is that now you know exactly what you don't want. So you're just going on to uh, more of the stuff that you do want and the, the stuff that you want to explore, you know. So, I mean, like now I've, I've, I've got like a solid concrete team, Nyana. You know, they're taking me, because my biggest challenge was having a team that takes me 1000% seriously, you know. Not just for the guaps and, you know, yeah. just paying for the service, but, you know, I, I just want to have a team of people that share a common vision with me. It's not just about, okay, we're releasing the song, uh, we're trying to make the guap, no. I mean, it's a brand. A brand is lifelong. and. We're taking baby steps to build this brand. That's why I'm not even in such a rush to kind of like do everything all at once. Because I know I'll be great. I know that I'll serve my purpose as a great musician, but I just want it to be perfect. And I want to learn as much as I can so that I can execute all my products and services really well. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty dope, man. That's pretty dope. And I'm proud of you. It's a learning experience, like you're saying, taking your time step by step, you know, learning, 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 never stop learning, no matter yeah. how big your catalog gets, yeah. no matter, you know, what you achieve, and I'm proud of that, man, keep pushing, keep doing the things. See your performance, I'm proud you, better bring the heat. I'm I already told Tweezy that, look, I'm going to be that guy that's going to be rapping all his lyrics, freaking screaming, yelling in the crowd, you know, so we out here, how do you do it? We out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. out here, maybe you're doing the things, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck, good luck, show love. Yeah. Give love. And I know you're getting it back. You're that guy. You're and there's too much love out here, you know. I think that's energy. why really I love the place so yeah. much. There's just so much positivity and love, so. Shit, we might yeah. not even come back, you know? But Funny enough, my TV didn't want to even. Last night, it was just like, you know what, bruh, you just need to go home. You need to really tell these people I'm not going back. I might just not make it back. <laughs> So, um, Zanti, this might be the last this you ever the see last of you ever see us. So, yeah, stay here also. <laughs> Tweezy, Namibian artist. Broadcast live.